Well, the shop is just busting at the seams. We've got a gas-powered go-kart. Easy go. Winnie the Poulon is still waiting for its head gasket. We have this beautiful 2009 Simplicity Legacy sitting here. And we have old reliable, the old Squire, and it's doing just fine. I'm going to do a house call tomorrow, and a gent needs a used tire, so there's a couple of used tires. He also needs a coil, so i got a bag full of coils and spark plugs and testers over there. That's for tomorrow. So, where do you want to start? you want to start here? Okay, let's start here. That is if the battery's still up. It is. Okay. Take a listen. This was run quite low on oil, and now we have a noise that it shouldn't be making. Hear that tappity tappity tap tap? It's only running on one cylinder. I'm hoping it's just a rocker arm that has come off, or it's dropped a uh, push rod, something to that effect. But, we shall see. Uh, doesn't sound like something swinging around in there. Like a broken connecting rod, but it could very well be. I just said Winnie the Poulon just needs its head gasket. And I'm going to throw a couple of better tires on the back of that. And this is actually going to go out to Miss Zippo's as well. So that she can put the two to the test and see which one she likes better. If she likes Winnie better, because they're both the same size cut and comparable engines. Um, if she likes the way that this one cuts better, or operates better, if it's easier for her to use, this one, will, that one, Winnie will stay with Miss Zippo and the Cub Cadet will come back. Uh, good old tried and true and trusty yeoman and I need your guys' help. Uh, the yeoman doesn't have a name. So, put a name suggestion down in the comments. And I will decide. Yes, that's right. I'm not going to do a drawing. I'll decide which one I like the best. It's a Simplicity 637 Yeoman 7071 Vintage. Um, pull start only. Three speed. Transaxle three-speed with reverse uh, it is electric start capable just doesn't have an electric starter on it um, 36 inch three blade uh, just a really neat little trim mower is what I use it for and it uh, retains the aviation type steering wheel and we come over here to the legacy um, the Legacy is a 25 horsepower Kohler Command, and I apologize, it is right up against my lift, so I can't open the hood, but there's a horizontal shaft, 25 horsepower Kohler Command in there. And if we look down here, it's marking its territory in a couple of spots, so we need to check that out and see where those leaks are coming from. And if we come around to the back, we also have a puddle underneath the hydro, so we need to f figure out where that one is coming from. <clears throat> 2009 vintage, so it's 10 years old and it has 924 hours on it. Uh, quite a machine. It has tilt wheel. As you can see, there's a little bit of sloppy play in that, but the steering knuckle here is 400 plus dollars so I'm gonna look into it see what I can do to remedy that sloppy I can buy a couple of bushings so we may be able to get away with replacing a couple of bushings in there uh, it has an rpm gauge it has a voltmeter it has a fuel gauge this little button right here sets your deck level by rocking one way or the other and by following that little gauge right there I'm, I assume it went from 
it went A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, or G, but part of the decal is missing. Uh, the deck covers are off, but they exist. They are right over there. Um, has cruise control. Has a high and low range for the hydrostatic transmission. Foot operated hydro. You notice we've got foot pedals over here as well. Those foot pedals are hydraulic deck lift and lower. What they are for is once you get your deck set with the yellow button to the height that you want or desired height, you can quickly raise and lower the deck. Say you're getting ready to go over a route, you know that you're going to end up whacking it with a blade. You can raise the deck temporarily and then set the deck back down. That type of thing. Uh, it has a 60 inch cut. Um, 26 12 12s on the rear and I forget the size on the front but we can certainly take a look here real quick they're 18 eight and a half eights on the front which are actually bigger these front tires are actually bigger than the back tires on the Yeoman I think that's pretty comical um, I'm gonna pull my phone out here real quick I'll give you guys a side-by-side -side, uh, photo comparison between the Yeoman and the Legacy it's actually quite comical Ready? the yeoman looks like a little toy funny 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 okay uh, a little bit more on this legacy is that it's mine I stepped up Zippo bought himself a legacy I'm crapping in high cut ouch I can't stand up when my belt gets caught on that little hook right there. Uh, I meant to get in that drawer for something. I don't remember what. We're getting ready to get rained on pretty hard here. And Miss Zippo should be getting off work shortly. So she may have to uh, brave the cold or brave the rain. Um, I will do... Uh, a, a thorough start and, and the whole nine yards with this uh, has an adjustable seat it's a very comfortable ride uh, something else that it has that I didn't mention yet I said cruise control I did mention that this is just your brake but if you look right here it has power steering and it already has a bracket on it for a front snow blade, which I will be getting, by the way. We are going to be getting a snow blade. And you might say, but Zippo, you're going to need chains or ag tires. Let's look over here. See those big yellow wheeled ags? 26, 12, 12s. So, Zippo doesn't need eggs for moving the snow. Got it right there. And with the rear differential lock, which is activated by your heel right there, I should be okay. Should be in pretty good shape. Um, wanted to give you guys just a you know, quick once over on what's going on. Everything is still super, super busy out here. I've not broken the camera out and I do sincerely apologize for that. But we may look at this together. Look at the pressure washer together. Uh, this belongs to my buddy Larry. Um, water is not transferring through it. Not sure exactly what's going on. It has been kept in a climate controlled garage. So freezing was not an issue. I'm guessing a critter moved in like a spider or something like that and just got in there and plugged something up or the pressure bypass valve is just stuck but we're going to take a look at it we're going to take a look into it and see exactly what's going on uh, he said it's fine if it's a lost cause but me being Zippo I don't believe things die you know you can always resurrect things um, 
had somebody on Facebook ask me about the dimensions on a stinger weight so that they could manufacture their own and I am going to get that taken care of uh, just as soon as I get back in the house. In fact, I think we're just going to go ahead and get back in the house ASAP because it is about to come down on our heads very, very, very shortly. Let's get the lights out and get out of here. I was going to do a looking pretty ominous, isn't it? Um, wow, and the wind's kicking up really good too. I'm probably, we're both, we're all both we're all probably going to get wet here shortly. And I'm sorry about the wind noise. Yep, here comes the rain. I'll be right back. Hokey smokes. <laughs> the wind's kicking it. You want to say hi, Miss Bell? Come here. I know, I know, I know, I know. Wind decided to pick up in a hurry and I felt the first couple of drops and you probably can't see it. I got a little bit wet so I had to run into the house. Um, fortunately it's not all that far away and I saved the camera from getting wet even though it's waterproof. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I tried to do an update yesterday. Um, there was some stuff in that video I didn't like, so I didn't post it, but the same content as far as what's going on in the shop was in there. Hopefully we'll be able to start working on the golf cart on Wednesday, but I've got to get the gold wing pearl in to the shop get it wired for lights so I can hook the trailer up so that Ms. Zippo and I can take a trip down to Nashville, Indiana and uh, Mr. Canada, Eric Canada, good friend of mine lives down that way and we're going to try to meet up while we're down there but uh, not a long weekend just be Friday, Saturday and Sunday, Friday evening, Saturday and Sunday but it's only a couple hours down there it's not too far anyway this is your friendly neighborhood Zippo. There's you a quick little update. We're gonna I started to say we're gonna try to get on the golf cart yet this week. If time permits. If not, you guys can look forward to that coming up next week. And we'll look in the look at the pressure washer as well. Promise you guys I'll see you on the next one. Right down there. Smiling little face. Only with an orange beanie. You can subscribe. And then here and here are a couple of random videos. I'll see you on the next one. Later. I'm out of here.